a lot of people seem to be complaining about lacking energy, um, being restless, being tired all the time, and have fluctuating moods. And a lot of people think that the reason for that is because they're overstressed, they're overworked. That may be true to some extent, but a lot of that has actually got to do with your diet because when you work or exercise or whatever else, your body gets used to that, it adapts, and it utilizes energy sources you know, accordingly. Um, so your issue might in fact be the fact that you're eating too much high GI or high glycemic index carbohydrates or processed sugars, which are terrible for your body because they give you a massive spike in energy and the same spike then drops off rapidly once your body releases insulin to counteract the sugars. Um, the problem with constantly spiking your sugar in your blood and then dropping it is the fact that you're shocking your pancreas. That is the organ which has pancreatic cells, which is responsible for releasing insulin, which is a hormone that binds onto the sugar molecules and have your body digest it. So the best way to approach that, if you want a gradual release of energy and you feel energetic and happy and you can sleep, uh, you, what you need to do is you need to focus on the low GI carbohydrates. So things like wholemeal bread, pasta, brown rice, vegetables, some vegetables, etc. That will give you a gradual release because you're always going to want to try and maintain that average sort of level of sugar in your blood. You don't want to go up and down like this. You want to be fairly stable because as I said before, you'll have gradual release of energy. You'll feel better. You'll be able to do more and you won't have those ridiculous crashes. The other problem with um, having a lot of sugar in your bloodstream and constantly shocking your pancreas is that over time, as I said, you will burn out your pancreatic cells and you will become pre-diabetic. And if you keep going the way you're going, you will become a fully blown type 2 diabetic. And some of the early warning signs are things like thirst, uh, hunger, restlessness, sleeplessness, numbness, tingling. And the reason you get tingling or numbness is because the sugar starts to counteract and interfere with your nerve endings. And so you lose sensation. And that's dangerous because if you can't sense something, you might be damaging it. You might be cutting or bruising it. And that, you know, be might become infectious. And in becoming infectious, you may experience other very serious problems. Um, the other thing you have to understand is that you have to time your carbohydrate intake in relating to the fats that you maintain. So when you get up in the morning, um, you're in a perfect fat burning stage because you haven't been eating all night for those eight or 10 hours. So your body's fasting and it's going to rely um, on its own fat supply for energy. So it's going to start catabolizing your lipids, that is your fats for energy. So what you want to do is you want to try and avoid eating carbohydrates as your first meal, prolong that fasting experience and force the body to keep burning your fat for energy instead of utilizing sugar that you bring in through eating of refined sugars or carbohydrates. So have um, bacon and eggs in the morning. That's really good for you. They'll provide you plenty of protein, plenty of energy. And then during the second meal, have a low GI carb or a fruit with natural occurring sugars. Um, processed sugars that we find in things like chocolate that don't occur in nature, so your body's not very good at processing them, and so it's not healthy. But in saying that, when you exercise harder, you train hard, and your muscles are depleted of nutrients, and your body's depleted, having a little bit of uh, high GI sugar, high glycemic index sugars or carbs, is actually really beneficial. You have a small window of about half an hour after training where you want to ingest protein to help prepare your muscle cells or in fibers, but also ingest a little bit of sugar with it. Uh, such as sucrose, uh, bananas, other fast-acting carbs. And the reason for that is because carbohydrates are actually responsible and help in pulling the protein into the muscle fibers. So if you have just pure protein on its own, it won't be as efficient um, at rebuilding the muscles and you won't recover as well. So always have a little bit of carbs, uh, especially high GI carbs, the body that will absorb them fast because that's exactly what the body needs after exercise and training. And then for the rest of the day, focus on low GI, that is low glycemic index carbs that get, you know, digested slowly and you get a gradual release of energy, which means you'll feel better throughout the day. You'll have more energy. You'll be healthier and you'll recover better. And on top of that, the health benefits from cutting out processed sugar and other things like that from your diet, you know, are endless. Um, you dropping your chance of heart disease, um, arthritis, uh, various issues with your nervous system. Um, obviously, you're doing a huge favor to your pancreas because you're not going to burn it out. And you'll feel better. You'll be a lot more energized. 
and you'll be able to keep going and doing everything that you enjoy doing.